All right, everyone. The problem is to calculate the molar mass of N2O3. So we want the molar mass. That is the mass of one mole. We're looking at N2O3 here. So, for instance, if we had one mole of N2O3, that would be two moles of N, okay, N2, and three moles of O, of oxygen. So if we get, can get the masses of two moles of N and three moles of O, add those together, that would be the molar mass of N2O3. So we have two elements, again, nitrogen and we have oxygen, okay? And in one mole of N2O3, we said that's two moles of nitrogen and three moles of oxygen. So we have our number of moles for both of our elements in this compound. If we multiply those individual elements by their molar masses, we'll get the masses total. So for nitrogen, if we look at the periodic table, we see that it's 14.01 grams per mole. That's the molar mass of nitrogen. And then for oxygen, it's 16.00 grams. Okay, grams or grams per mole, depending on what you generally use. So if we solve these two and add them together, that will be the total molar mass for N2O3. So 2 times 14.01 is 28.02. Okay, that's grams. Technically, moles cancels out. And then for oxygen, 3 times 16 is 48. 0 0.00 grams, moles cancel out, so then finally we add both of these together, the 28.02 and the 48.00, we're going to add those together and we'll get 76.02 grams or could be grams per mole depending on how you do your units. So Molar mass of N2O3 is going to be 76.02 grams or grams per mole. All right, everyone, if you want to see another example, click in the top right. Please like this video if it helped you in any way. Feel free to look in the doobly-doo below for additional help and resources. Please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for new videos. And thank you, thank you so much for watching.